Tonight, FAU. They play the four seed Tennessee in the Sweet 16, 9 p.m. at MSG. Yeah, super excited about watching the Owls tonight, Sweet 16. We had Frank Fort on yesterday talking about Owls basketball. And, uh, I'm, you know, uh, let me look at what the line is here. I mean, this is a wing and a prayer at this point for FAU. They are a five-point underdog to number four Tennessee tonight. Five-point dog. I think they get run. If they're going to get run, it's going to be tonight. Yes. And if it's not tonight, like if they can, it, like they're legit, legit, if they mm-hmm. get past Tennessee tonight, yes. then it's not a fluke. And you know what? It's funny. You talk about like relevance. If we were, you know, honestly, we were making fun of FAU saying this is kind of, oh, this isn't expected, which it isn't. But I had the conversation with my 10 year old, and he didn't know FAU had a basketball team. He didn't even know the mascot, but I explained it to him, and I was like, yeah, it's right up there. He plays, you know, a lot of baseball in Boca. And I was like, yeah, up there by that one field and all. So that's how a 10 year old now knows about it. Now you continue to be relevant now when little Chan's going to college. You know, that's how you be, build a program from there. Like we were talking about with the Marlins. If you can have sustained success, so you get on the map now, hopefully you can sustain that success because they, they'll move from Conference USA to what? The uh, American. They move to the AAC? American, I think, right? Yeah. AAC. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this this put them on the map for a lot of people, not just mm-hmm. your son. I mean, this puts FAU on the athletic map. It is really cool. I will be watching tonight. No joke. I can't wait. And I'm Go taking ahead. her. Roll your eyes, FIU guy. No, I mean, uh, uh, it's a nice run, a little cute run. I mean, on the map. <laughs> I mean, the map of what? Boca. What map? The Boca map. How dare you? That's insulting. I mean, look, F- FGCU. Got to the Elite Eight. Mm-hmm. Who remembers FGCU? Everyone. We were talking about Dunk City last Dunk week. City. With uh, why? Why else would we remember anything about FGCU? We do because we're two hours away from Fort Myers. I- I'm talking about Bill so, in uh, in Long Island. They don't remember but, FGCU. No, but that's what Hawk said consistently. So, like my son's ten now. FAU goes to the to Sweet Sixteen six times in the next eight years. My son's coming out of high school like, damn, FAU's an athletic school. Six times in the next eight I mean, years? I'm not, I'm not saying what, you're going to Georgetown, Grinder. <laughs> when, I don't know. What just happened there? <laughs> Go to the tournament. How about Nova in the 80s? How, how about they get in the tournament? Just, just become 64. It's actually going to get tougher now that they're switching conferences, unfortunately. Yeah, and I'm not saying this is going to happen. There's no way my son's going to go to FAU. I really don't believe that. I'm just saying this is how fa- this is how little you know school is built. This is how oh, dynasties is, are built. There's, there's no debate on this. Solana's trying to to figure out a way to throw shade at a Sweet 16 appearance. No, guy I'm not at all. For a, for a for a tournament appearance, let alone a Sweet 16 <laughs> appearance. I mean, nobody's shown FAU more love over this run than I have, and <laughs> I, I'm just I, I I'm just saying, you know, I mean. You know, be careful what you wish for. You want to go to the AAC? Okay, have fun. FIU, they'll clean up the CUSA. That's all I'm saying. How about FIU try some other sports? Like How about they buy ball? their own uniforms? How about they stop yeah. borrowing pads? <laughs> Let's lock in on, like, cornhole or something where you can really <laughs> spend your budget. When's the last time you've seen a college football team show up at Goodwill before a game to get their uh... – <laughs> Bro, if they have a great logo to have on their uniform, good <laughs> will. Goodwill. Goodwill. <laughs> Socks are all different heights. <laughs> just... <laughs> what color they, is this thing? If they implement cornhole, I mean, your boy's got four years of eligibility left, baby. Oh, you're, you're right, right back, back to back school. To he's a, he's Thornton <laughs> Mellon and back to school. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know, uh, y'all remember Terry Kirby? Yeah. He's a professional cornhole player. Is he really? Yep. It started as like a celebrity thing where he would go, and now, like, if you turn on, it doesn't even say football. Like, he's on ESPN huh. 8 and all that playing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't respect those guys. I got <laughs> – I got – I'm sorry. Like, you want to hear, fun, I wanna hear a funny like, Terry Kirby it, story? It's like uh, like professional beer punk players. Okay, grow up. <laughs> I think it's different than beer pong. 
it's an actual it's an act it's actually a judge sport like it's a judge okay, but i mean it's sport. at bars he's right like it's not uh, that, no not exactly like you're driving to the field to practice your javelin like you happen to be <laughs> oh wake up 8 30 a.m on a saturday you and you're gonna see like you pack up your ski equipment you're gonna you're gonna go run a couple of uh mountains and, and get some practice and you happen to be at yard house they threw a couple no. bean bags at your feet oh i'm an athlete i'm kind of with salon on this one i've seen a guy change his shoes because the competition was about to begin uniforms <laughs> you want <laughs> If I, gotta, I see if if I see somebody <laughs> put studs on cleats on for Cornell, I'm I'm fighting them right away. Oh, you ever seen the people with the the tape wrists and the wrist braces and things? It's like when you go play you go play flag stability. football for Turkey Bowl, and and you know the two guys that played high school football Super show up. Serious. They put mm-hmm. the cleats on. You got the eye black on. Okay. <laughs> like, they have yeah. a towel. They have a towel. Like why? Why do you have a towel? <laughs> it's Thanksgiving Day. They carbo loaded. <laughs> Before the game. <laughs> Spaghetti for breakfast. Spaghetti. <laughs> but it's Thanksgiving Day, John. Uh, turkey bowl. All right. <laughs> well, I'm I'm the guy trying to teach leverage to my aunt. Just inside out. <laughs> inside out. Just stay. I got you outside. Auntie, stay inside out. <laughs> I don't want to play this game no more. <laughs> Better get your old ass out here. <laughs> You're weak. <laughs> <laughs> off, 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 off. Third long. Play off. <laughs> off. You're your Vince Vaughn and Wedding Crashers. I yeah, that's red, 47, <laughs> blue, 17. He's like, I don't know what that means. You just go stand over there. <laughs> when you talked about the guys that are too excited to do it athletically, that's why I cringe. Because I'm the guy that's too excited mentally to play football. And show people that I know football. Right, well, you have to. You can't go out there and uh, be goofing around like the rest of us. Like you, you've got to be head and shoulders, and and you've got to do that. Like you've got to get people lined up right. You know, it even if so you don't right. want to. No, no, hey, stand right here. Trust me, stand right here. He's gonna come this way. You got him yeah. right there. If Uncle Cecil scrambles, he's gonna scramble right. <laughs> Uncle Cecil can't run. <laughs> uh, Uncle Cecil has one foot. He's running in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Cecil hasn't evaded a sack in 13 years. <laughs> Come on, Unc. <laughs> Can't make one guy miss. Just make one guy miss. <laughs> Why is he the all-time quarterback? <laughs> Who the hell dubbed Uncle Cecil all-time quarterback? <laughs> oh, boy, there you go. I got you. 